never compete, cause we would never even I'm the one, still the one, I can give you 11 reasons Rock a cucaracha, made him out of gobble Answer to the altar, then the plan gon' prosper Don't get lost in the hype sauce a Little hot in the club, look better with the lights off So today I'm going to go a little bit more in depth on my reverse light flasher as well as the third brake light flasher that I have hooked up to that. A uh, previous video I posted was just a basic walkthrough uh, demonstrating the function of it. Today I'll explain a little bit further in how I installed it and as well as the, the flashers I have, I also have a wireless bypass system for it so I can turn off these functions when I want to remain the stock appearance instead of having flashing lights disturbing people and a little bit more under the radar for police if they happen to care about that sort of stuff. So I'll uh, go ahead and walk you through the basics of the wiring. Uh, it's still not complete because I'm doing a few other things while this is all ripped apart so you have to excuse the mess before the wiring gets all wrapped up and all that. So here we have what looks to be a jumbled mess of wires. That's just because I'm adding a few more things to the factory fuse box back here before I wrap it up with the Tessa tape to give it that nice OEM clean look. So here we have the Show Me LED flasher. And that is wired up down here to the factory reverse light wiring. And I have those ran into one of these relays here using the factory relay plugs. So it clips into the empty spaces in the fuse box. And that is so I can run it for the flasher or for the stock operation, depending on what I feel like. And back down here, this is not permanently mounted either. I have the reverse light flasher just mounted in there real quick. And up over here, is where we have the wireless control module. So I have four functions there available and I will explain all those in future videos. Uh, one of them is for the reverse lights, one is for the third brake light flasher and another one is for changing the program mode on the LED flasher. And that is just controlled by this lovely remote so I didn't have to drill any more holes, didn't have to have any unnecessary switches in my dash anything like that. Again, all this wiring is going to get wrapped up and look like factory here once I've finalized the last option for this wireless control box. Another thing to note while trying to bypass these modules is that since the current is flowing from the same source, I had to add in these transistors here so it wouldn't backfeed the electricity because it was causing the flashers to flash erratically or not work at all. So I have one for the left and one for the right, and that's all wired in. Again, down below here with the factory relay connectors, as well as tap power from the factory fuse blocks as well. Let's see one's there for One's for the wireless control module, the other is for my reverse camera, which I'll discuss that a little bit later. But all factory, OEM, hidden and clean. So that's the basic run through of how I wired this up to have the, the flashers when I want them and then stock when I don't want them. And hit all the wires, use factory connectors. Uh, I was able to use factory fuse locations, factory relay locations that weren't being used and utilized it for a clean stock looking install. Once this is all wrapped up and, you know, wrapped up with the Tesla tape, I'll show you guys again, just to, you know, show that it is truly a clean install. And hopefully this clears up a few things from the last video that was just a demonstration. Thanks again for watching, and I will have more of these kinds of videos and more DIY type uh, retrofits as well.
Yo. You are fucking up, bro. Get it together, man. Get your shit together. Come on.